Bill is uncovering new information about the purported function of Element 115 from a man who Bob Lazar confided in. His name is John Lear. John's father invented the Learjet. John himself is an accomplished pilot. He worked for the CIA, had a very high security clearance. Lear retired with more than 19,000 hours of flight time. He holds the most FAA airman certificates ever earned by a single pilot. But his entire life changed when he developed a close personal friendship with Bob Lazar back in the late 1980s. According to Lear, Lazar used to take him on late night excursions to the outskirts of Area 51 to watch flying saucer tests. You saw a flying saucer at Area no 51. No doubt about it. I saw a flying saucer. It was radiating yellow and gold. Bob Lazar told me when it was going to be there, and it was there. In never before seen home video from March 22, 1989, John Lear is shown here on the perimeter of Area 51, also referred to as Groom Lake. The voice of the man holding the camera is Bob Lazar. We're standing just about uh, eight miles due east of Groom Lake, Nevada, the super government uh, secret test site. And just a few minutes ago, we saw one of the government uh, uh, extraterrestrial UFOs fly over there. Uh, we all watched it for about uh, <clears throat> seven or eight minutes. The mission was organized tonight uh, by Bob Lazar, who is a, uh, a, uh, a theoretical physicist who works at Groom Lake. <laughs> <laughs> and is also a dead man at this point. <laughs> Lear also claims Lazar gave him detailed accounts of the work he was doing. He was trying to back engineer the exact actual engine that propelled this craft hundreds of thousands of light years away. Lear references a model of a reactor, which he claims is the key to the flying saucer's energy source. You take the cap off here and the fuel that propels this thing is a piece of element 115. Bob said that we have 500 pounds of this stuff at Los Alamos. They shoot protons into the tip of that element 115 right there. Yeah. And what it does is it bumps it up to 116 mm -hmm. and it instantaneously decays. The number 115 represents how many protons are in the element's atomic nucleus. Lazar claims bombarding element 115 with additional protons raises the number to 116. But the new creation is unstable and quickly breaks apart, releasing enormous amounts of energy. The entire process, according to Lazar, enables flying saucers to break conventional laws of gravity and travel at incredible speeds. Here is our saucer here is space. What they can do is pull space towards them and wrap it around the craft. That's what enables them to travel through space at, you know, hundreds of light years. While most scientists dispute Lazar's claims about the physics of element 115, John Lear and Bob Lazar contend that it's only beginning to be understood. For anybody who thinks that flying saucers are a myth, a delusion, a hoax. John confirmed everything. John was deeper inside than anybody has ever been, except for Bob Lazar. 